Toxoplasmic parasites. When we digest genetically modified foods, such as meat, these parasites go straight to the brainstem. And the brainstem is what regulates some emotions of the body. It can trick you to actually make you think that you need something, that you are void of something, or that you are in fear of something. So when these toxoplasmic parasites are ingested into the body, they go straight to the brainstem because the brainstem has a fluid that is identical to sugar. They are addicted to it. It's like a drug. And once they get into the part of this brain, which is the brainstem, they can actually control the signals sent out to the body for addiction of foods. That's right. So when you wake up in the middle of the night and you got a taste for chicken, cookies, and things of that nature, it's not really you. It's the host, which is the parasite. So these microbial parasites, right, they are up 24 hours. They don't sleep. They need a host. They body snatch. Now you have to run it, find something to eat to feed it. And now you got the itis, which means in medical terms, inflammation. So you feed the host and in return it gives you inflammation. A lot of us don't know that we have something in our bodies, that we have a lot of personalities in our bodies in the form of parasites. Parasites is not just some small creatures crawling around our body. They have their own personalities. And the only thing that keeps them alive is eating 24-7. Not only that, they can genetically modify them to the point where they can push these signals so deep into your subconscious, right? And have you thinking that you are so hungry that you just got to eat all day. And this is why some of us eat all day. A parasite will eat all day. And this is why when you look around, some of us are eating all day, literally. The first thing we do when we wake up, we got to eat. We're not giving the digestive tract a time to wake up. It went, the digestive tract went to sleep. At seven o'clock last night, and now you waking up, and it don't, and your digestive tract don't wake up until eleven o'clock, between eleven o'clock and twelve noon, and you eating at that time, feeding that parasite, and all the food that didn't digest goes down into your colon, and rots even more, and guess what follows this food down to your colon? You guessed it, these parasites. So you got parasites in your colon, and by the time you turn seventy, you got colon cancer. Because they ruptured the nucleus and the cells in your colon. And your ribonuclear acids is so confused to the point where it cannot be a messenger to your DNA. So now these parasites have altered your DNA. Now you got parasites in your kidneys. So that's gonorrhea. Now it's in your kidneys and your liver. Now you got herpes. Then they start to take over all your major organs. Now you're losing weight tremendously. And they call that AIDS. It ain't that. It's because the, the way that your food's supposed to break down and stick to your body, your nutrients are not processing right. And so your body can't hold any weight. And so now you lose all this weight. And they biologically patent something called AIDS. And they tell you you got AIDS. through a sexually transmitted disease. Don't you know that the condoms in the 90s that they were putting in stores they had microscopic parasites on them. And they was telling y'all to strap up to be safe. Well, you won't be in safe for real. You will put on a condom that had microbes or parasites on it, microscopic parasites. And you will put it inside of the vagina of your significant other. And now she got parasites in her womb. Going into her major organs, her kidneys and liver. Attacking everything that's supposed to process the nutrients, everything correctly. And now she has a human immunodeficiency virus. And then those parasites reproduce more parasites. And then it finish off the immune system. And now she has an autoimmunodeficiency virus, which is AIDS. She loses all this weight because the parasites ate all of her food, damaged all of her organs. And she couldn't keep weight on her body.
the body was full of parasites, microscopic parasites. And they told you you had AIDS. It was sexually transmitted disease, of course. They set the, they set the foundation for you to give her AIDS. Not from you, but through the condoms and through the foods. Black Science TV 111, Jose Cafor, I'm out.